Coach Dino here. Welcome to my third video log, last video log of the year. And uh, I want to talk a little bit about New Year's resolutions. So I had one of my clients ask me, Coach Dino, what's your New Year's resolutions for 2016? And without batting an eye, I said, I don't have resolutions, I have goals, right? So I at some point sat down and decided what I was going to achieve in 2016 just like last year I did the same thing with 2015 and uh, I'm, you know, I made a list of things I wanted to accomplish and, but uh, I made a resolution um, I think eight years ago now um, it was uh, December 31st and I was at a party with a whole bunch of friends that I worked with and uh, I just decided then and there that I was going to stop drinking to the point that I would get drunk. Um, still had a couple drinks here and there throughout the years, but I uh, actually haven't been drunk in eight years. So this will be, uh, not that I was ever an alcoholic, but uh, you know, for health and, and, and social reasons and things like that, you know, it's better to, to not go out and drink and to the point of getting drunk all the time, especially if you're focusing on being healthy. So today I want to do an overview of of kind of, you know, why do people do New Year's resolutions? So I have on the board here behind me New Year's resolutions and like most traditions, they're rooted in religion. So we can see as far back as the Babylonians praying to their gods at the beginning of a new year, um, making promises to them uh, that, you know, this year will be different. You know, they won't cheat on their wives. They won't steal their neighbor's crops, things like that. Uh, we saw Romans, again, making promises to the god Janus, which is actually why we call January, January, right? And the Christians, as well, um, were seen to start praying a lot after Christmas, uh, making plans for the next year, right? So, uh, at the end of the Great Depression, um, about a quarter of individuals set New Year's resolutions. Around uh, Y2K, we saw that increase to about 40%. So, you know, um, 4 out of 10 people are still setting New Year's resolutions. The issue is, 90% of the time, uh, they're not successful. So they're setting these goals, and usually it's things like fitness, uh, finance goals, you know, getting out of debt, uh, family-related goals, so I want to spend more time with family, and religious goals, I want to pray more. 90% uh, of the time, they fail. So. And that was due to 35% people setting unrealistic goals. So, easy fix, set realistic goals. 23% uh, of the time, people just forgot. They set New Year's resolutions. So, um, I guess, how do we fix that? You know, let's set some realistic goals. So, if you have things you want to accomplish in 2016, have a plan. Track your progress and have someone or something to hold you accountable, right? And uh, why wait? You know, if you got a big goal, why wait another five days? Start today. So put the plan into motion, right? Um, you want to compete in a bodybuilding show. You want to look good for summer. You want to get yourself, uh, you know, get that credit card debt down. Put it into paper. Put it into motion. You know, talk to someone who's done it before. Um, there's nothing wrong with New Year's resolutions, but if 90% of people are failing, you know, it doesn't look good for you. So, the takeaway, again, set a realistic goal, have a plan, track your progress, have someone or something to hold you accountable, and get on it right now. So, I hope this very short introduction to uh, New Year's resolutions helps you, and I will see you guys all in the new year. So, like always, um, hit the subscribe button, hit the like, hit the share. And I'm sure I'll have some videos probably up here.